everybody flooding it. How is everybody doing on this fine Sunday? It's Wizard for the Sub. We have something very special today. We are doing the ice cream truck tier list, something that has been in anticipation on my stream for quite some time. I've been talking about it since the summer, and now we're finally doing it. Uh, as you can see, we have about, I think, 37 uh, different ice cream truck Things. Now, what I mean by ice cream truck tier, uh, something that is pre-packaged. I am not going to be rating uh, individual ice cream itself. Like, I'm not going to be rating soft serve or vanilla or something like that, right? I'm rating things that you would buy pre-packaged from an ice cream truck as a kid, as an adult, whatever, right? Number f one. These are probably all going to start melting, and I'm a little bit nervous about that, but I did kind of prepare a cooler, I think, pretty efficiently. The tried and true, starting off with a f Banger chat. What are we rating the creamsicle? Where is the creamsicle? Right here. The creamsicle starting off with it kind of random. We're going to be all over the place, right? I did not order this when I was a kid. This is a, it's something that people like, but I, I always thought it, it was just overhyped. Pretty fucking good, right? I wouldn't order them if I had other things in option, but I would never deny a creamsicle. I will always eat a creamsicle, right? I would, I would most definitely order this. That I feel like most of my chats agreeing with me based off the differentiations. A lot of people are putting S and C, S C A B. I feel like B tier is really where this belongs. It's good, but like I could house this in thirty seconds. What are we, what are we getting our little hand, our, our, our fucking hand in the bag of tricks? What's the next one? Another bar. Let's see what this one is. This is the cookies and cream little ice cream bar. I feel like a lot of people are gonna be pretty hype about this one. I am not a fan. I have to say this. I have to say this, and I know it's an L fucking take. If you want my all goddamn opinion, all, all honest goddamn opinion, cookies and cream slightly overrated. It it feels it just tastes cheap. I don't care if you say L. It tastes cheap. It just like melts away, but it's also hard. It's like the ice cream feels like low, low quality. I just don't like it. Another bar? Should we do a little cone? Let's do a little cone. A tried and true. A tried and true. Let's hit up the drumsticks. Now, I am going to be rating some. If, if you have looked at the tier list, I'm going to be rating some drumsticks individually. And some of them I'm going to be rating in a group. Now, this one I'm going to be rating in a group right? These drumsticks are just like chocolate, vanilla, and they have fudge in them, right? Like, there's nothing special. Like, there's nothing special about these. The ones that I'm going to be rating that are special are the ones with nuts, some of the king-sized ones, like right there. They have all different shit in them, but these ones are basically just like kind of an ice cream cone. As you can see, this one is literally just, it's just like an ice cream cone. It has chocolate on it. I don't, I, 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 even I, I have always fucked. I have always fucked with, um, Drumsticks. I don't know what it is. A lot of companies that produce like prepackaged ice cream, uh, like bars, have these weird like crumbly chocolate bits. It doesn't ruin it because it kind of matches, but I'm not really that big of a fan of this specific one. But I do love drumsticks. Should we should we try all three of the drumsticks and then rate them cumulatively? Right. We have two that we have to rate. Hmm. Should I just fucking how do I get to the fudge? How, what is the best strategic way to get to the fudge without eating the entire thing? Wait, is the fudge on the bottom? Is the fudge on the bottom or the middle? Oh, it's so cold. It's ice cream. It, it, it's easy ice cream in a cone. The fudge definitely brings it up. If, it, if there was no fudge, I would definitely say C. I'm probably going to throw a B. This one person just keeps spamming, fuck me, please. Yeah, get banned, out of my, get banned in my chat. Fucking L chatter. Literally, get the fuck out of here. I'm throwing a B. Is that respectable chat? Some sort of popsicle. I can't tell by the miscellaneous packaging, but we'll see as we open it. The bomb pop. Now, this was my go-to. Other than the Choco Taco, which is now discontinued, F. At an ice cream truck, the bomb pop is my go-to, right? And you just, you, you can, you can eat them how you like. You can tear it. You can eat all three. You can lick all three flavors. You can, you can be creative without you eat it. You could hit them with one of these. You could bite individually. You could fucking just suck down the, okay, that sounded, oh yeah. And it's like. Oh, it's like, oh, it's so good, dude. It's like, it's like fudgy ice. I, it, it, this is S tier. Can I put, the, somebody said F? Undeniable S. Oh, God damn it. I really just grabbed the, let's just get through these. Fucking Kit Kat. This is literally a drumstick. It's Kit Kat branded. The ice cream, I, I've never had one of these, but doesn't it, it, if I handed you this, you would say, oh, this is a drumstick. You would have no fucking inkling on whether or not this is a drumstick or a Kit Kat bar. Or not a bar, fucking ice cream. No fudge, but fudge lined cone. 
Is that a dub? Like, this is literally, if you want me to be real, it's C tier. And I understand there might be little Kit Kat pieces on the fucking, on, on, on like the outside crust, but it's barely noticeable and it's not even that good. Oh, fucking hell. I keep saying, let's get something special. I just got another fucking drumstick. I might as well just speed run these fucking drumsticks. This thing is like one of those weird ones that you peel and it has, like, th doesn't this look. This, I, the, okay, am I dumb in saying that I had to rate this individually? This is very, it's, it's drumstick, it's almost the same thing, but it is such a different format in how they're delivering it that I do think I needed to give it a different section, because this looks amazing, right? Yeah, it's better. For sure it's better. Chat's seeming like they're saying S. I don't know if I could put a regular ice cream in S. You know what I mean? I feel like S has to be reserved for, like, amazing shit. It's not amazing. At the end of the day, even though it's really, like, finely distributed ice cream, I'm probably gonna throw this in A. I feel like I'm gonna feel like shit after this. You think I'm gonna feel like shit after this? Alright, we have two and one here, because we have to rate both of them in a pack, because I didn't want to individually rate each of them. These are the tropical ice pops. These are not special ice pops. These are not bomb pops. These are literally you're you're getting that this is, this is the cheap option. You got a fucking dollar on you at the ice cream truck. You're buying one of these. It's lemon. It's lemon. It's lemon. I, I, like, I, they're not- Okay, I'm gonna shit on these, but for how much they cost, I bought a box of these for, like, four dollars. You're not going to an ice cream truck and buying one of these because this is what you want. I only have a dollar on my person. I want to get ice cream. This is the only thing I can fucking get, right? Throat it? No. Yeah, and it's sugar-free, too. No, it's 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 not what it looks like. I was just I, I was just showing Bob how how G Fuel is sugar free and and how good it tastes. Why was I rubbing it on his upper lip? <laughs> With G Fuel, you can get sugar free energy in an instant. And if you go to GFuel.com, you can use code Joby and get thirty percent off this month. And if you're interested in a new flavor that just came out, you can get sour gummy worms for pre order right now. Remember, code Joby thirty percent off. Use it. Let's get back into the video. If I'm really rating these on terms of like, could I have three of these or one of the Kit Kat ones? I'm probably choosing three of these because these are really enjoyable. So I, dude, I might put these B. Oh, let's just get this one out of the way. Let's just get the, let's just get the fuck, it, let's just get them out of the way. We're getting them out of the way. Fuck these stupid ass drumsticks. They're starting to piss me off that I have so many of them. We're getting them out of the way. This is the next one. This is the peanut one. It's the same fucking thing. The real only factor is do the nuts bring it up or down? I don't know if it raises it. Chocolate chips, B. I would say it's worse than the creamsicle. Do I even need to eat this one? Yes. Everybody's gonna bitch if I don't try it. Vanilla with fudge. This is the one, this is the, this is the one that most people get, okay? This one I will actually say is prepared pretty well. But I'm gonna start bitching about it and you'll see in a fucking second. Watch. Watch. Did they fix the problem? Anybody remember the, the detrimental problem where the peanuts would fall off? Am I getting a, a fluke here? Should I rate this high now? I was gonna rate this like C tier. Now that that, that that was really good and it actually stayed, I might put that A. Because that's what I'm looking for. It's like king size one. That king size one with the nuts. It was like, it, it was like too much ice cream. It, the ratio was bad. I think the ratio of that's pretty good. We were getting like a whole, a, a whole mouthful of nuts. Okay, now like, uh, now. next. The crunch. I, I, they didn't even sell these. Like, this is more of a new aged thing. I, I don't even know if they had this as a thing when I was like 10. But I, I do love crunch bars. I do love crunch bars. And I've never had this. It's like a crunch bar on the outside of the ice cream. You get, like, it, it, it's what, it's what's expected from this, right? If I'm rating the ice cream, it's a C. If I'm rating it with the crunch bar, I would say it's a B. I would say I might choose it over a base drumstick. So I'm going to say that's a B tier. I might choose that over a base drumstick. Next one. I don't even know what this one is. I think if I had a guess that this is the Tropical Bomb Pop, we'll see if my guess is correct. It is. The Tropical Bomb Pop. Not... I don't know. Do I like this? Do I like the Tropical Bomb Pop more than the regular? No, I do not. I would say the, the quality of, of the flavor is better than, like, the, the, the cheap Popsicle ones. Is it an S tier? The Tropical Bomb Pop. I don't think it is. Like, the cherry lemon-esque flavors from the regular Bomb Pop. I'm gonna throw that top of A. Now we got a fucking contender up next. The goddamn Chip Witch. The goddamn Chip Witch. Wow. Wow. S tier. Uh, <laughs> like, like, I don't know. I can't, like, bro, it's obvious why it's S. It's ice cream 
it's cookies, it's chocolate, right? All in one. You don't really get your hands messy, which I also like. And it's something that I'm going to be ranting about the ice cream bar right here. Is that your hands get like all fucked up when you eat it. The chip, which doesn't really rub off on your hands. It doesn't melt. It's two cookies and ice cream. My hands are dirty from uh, grabbing uh, the cooler and all the ice cream. Next, the Hagen das wrong way. Can it fucking focus? The Hagen dazs ice cream. This is rich people ice cream. I've seen this like one, maybe two times ever at a fucking ice cream truck. Realistically, you are you are never getting this. Realistically, you're never getting this. The Hagen dazs Also chocolate ice cream. Great crack. Listen. I don't even know you guys can't even hear that. I'm 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 going to probably put it A. But I wouldn't say S just because it, uh, it it's not it's not cheap in any way. Like it is it is expensive. It is arguably the most expensive thing on this list. This one's wet. Oh, this one's wet. This one is melting. Whatever the fuck this one is. I don't know. Oh my god! Don't tell me it's the fudge pop. It's so fudgy. It's gotten crushed. Fudge pop or not fudge pop? Fudge bar. Oh my god. I this is one of my go tos. It's a fucking banger, right? It, it is it is a fucking banger. Uh, do I put it S? Chat, do we put do we put fudge bar S? A lot of people don't like it. It, it, it. It's an either it's an either you love or you hate it type of thing. The fudge bar is not an in-between. Everybody's saying S or A, some dickhead put D. I'm gonna put S. The SpongeBob pop. Let's see how perfect SpongeBob is. That's a pretty, that's a pretty good Spongebob. Okay, I know it looks like a psychopath, but like normally, isn't it normally, am I wrong in saying that it's normally more deformed than that? Okay, the Spongebob pop is a very strong lemon flavored popsicle. I have to try one of the gumballs. Oh, oh no, oh no. Oh my god, dude, that's like the worst quality fucking- That's like the worst quality- Dude, see, this is why I fucking hate the Spongebob Pop. Why do they include the gumballs? The gumballs fucking ruin it, dude. Like, objectively, I'm probably gonna rate the Spongebob Pop E tier. Like, E tier, maybe F. There might be days where I'd feel a Spongebob Pop over a fucking drumstick. I don't know what this one is. Chat, what are we guessing this is? A little mystery. They they likely serve these at your school. I They used to serve these at my school. They likely serve them at your school. Um, I don't even... What are these called? What? <laughs> they serve them at, at schools. They serve them at ice cream trucks. They're like... Yeah, they're like fucking... What is... This? It has ice cream in the middle and it has like this... The weird fudgy, pea, crumbly pieces on the outside. I just don't like... I know... Hey, there's... <laughs> They're all right. Like, does that even look like ice cream to you guys? It looks like cake. These are pretty bad. And you can say I'm a, I'm, I'm a hater of these ice creams. They're bad, okay? I might be throwing them in E tier. Do you guys want to do the fucking, um, the little, what are these called? Dippin' Dots? These are, this is the off-brand Dippin' Dots. They're called Mini Melts. Oh, they're rip-offs, right? This one, we're gonna do all the flavors. This one's cookie dough. It has actual cookie dough chunks, and then it has the little Dippin' Dots themselves. Ignore how I eat this. It's bad. <laughs> Guess how much this was at a store. Not an ice cream truck. At a store. Which means it would be cheaper. What is that? Is that glass? They give you a spoon! Oh, they give you a spoon! I, like, I understand where the fucking cookies is. Like, actually fucking F tier. Should we just do all of these? Should we just rate all of the fucking mini melts? Let's do that. Let's just fucking run that shit down. I just did cookies and cream. What the fuck? Oh, that was cookie dough. Oh, shit. I rated, I put the wrong one. I put the wrong one. Cookie dough is what we just ate. This is cookies and cream. It like it looks like slop. And the fact that the spoon, it's like it's like when you're getting a fucking new tub of protein and you have to dig your hand into it. The spoon is covered by the ice cream. Like I'm not I'm not a fan of this. I'm not a fan of this. I think that's the cookies and cream one. That one I would put like D. Cotton candy. This one's going to be a fucking oh for sure this one's going to be fucking F. It looks like it looks like fucking pop rocks, doesn't it? No. No, it's probably this is probably a fucking I'd put it D. I'll put it D tier. I would eat it I would eat it probably the same as I would eat a cookies and cream bar. Look at that Th If that doesn't look like your vomit after a fucking Thanksgiving dinner You're eat that's that's the corn chunks That's your shit after you go to a fucking carnival and and you fuck up the the, the corn that looks gross I don't even want to try this That's just good <laughs> That one's good as fuck. What is that pink shit? I have no idea. I have I have no idea what that pink shit is. I have no idea what that is. But that creaminess with the banana flavor. Oh my god. I'm probably throwing that with the fucking trop the trop pops. Like they're not bad. 
Oh my god, I don't want to eat it. Mm-mm. 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 Mm -mm. That's the worst one by far. Oh my god, it tastes like a snow cone. It tastes like a snow cone, but it has gross consistency. Oh my god, F. Tell me that's not just vanilla ice cream with fucking sprinkles. And they just throw the liquid nitrogen on it and make it seem like it's fucking cool. No. No. I just got ice cream on my phone. Hold up. Disgusting. Disgusting. What are we rating? Okay, it's literally, it's literally birthday cake ice cream. I fucking hate chat. What are you rating birthday cake ice cream? If I'm putting that shit C tier, the banana one, I'll put, I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll put the fucking uh, banana split up and the birthday cake D. I, actually, I'll put it E because it wasn't that good. All right, next. The other possible contender, the Klondike bar. They're, you, I, I, I like how, okay, let me just, let me just give you a, a fucking spiel on why I fuck with, with the Klondike bar. The wrapper serves as a holder, which is amazing, so you don't get your hands dirty. It is chocolate encased vanilla ice cream. You can get them in different flavors sometimes, but this is the original. Good snap, good quality chocolate, decent ice cream. Out of all of these here, out of all of these things here, this is the one that likely everyone has probably tried. Ask. At the lowest I would go is A. Let's switch it up. Let's switch it up. Let's rate the Snickers. All right, the Snickers ice cream bar. This is not the candy bar, even though it looks exactly like the candy bar. It is the ice cream bar. Uh, I do think it's unique that they shaped them exactly the same, and you could probably walk around with this, and people would just think you have the candy bar. It's not a lot of ice cream. I think that's in part because um, it's incredibly unhealthy. I'm probably gonna rate it A. I'm probably not gonna throw it an S just because like they dominate the they dominate the candy world, Snickers and Twix. But I don't really think they dominate the ice cream world. Now, how does the Twix the Twix one compare, chat? I would say the Twix candy bar itself to me is more enjoyable than the Snickers. It have it doesn't have really the cookie as much, but it's basically just caramel with like the ice cream. Regardless of what you think about the candy bar the twix ice cream bar is better good caramel i might throw that ass that was good like that's on par with a klondike bar like i if, if you throw if you threw me a klondike bar and a snickers i'm probably gonna eat the klondike if you threw me a klondike and a twix i'm eating the twix all right i, I it might be in between right so i'm gonna throw that ass spider-man i'm holding it upside down spider-man do i like the spider-man bar at all as you can see, there is no gumballs, and that's a dub. Because it seems like a common problem with a lot of character-based ice creams. They didn't do that here, you know? The flavor itself is not that good. Like, if you want to be, it's cheap. It's cheap. That All these, all these fucking pop, look at that. Like, it looks like concrete. It's, it's cheap. The eye tastes rancid. The eye tastes fucking rancid. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's really bad. Oh, that's really bad, chat. Oh, that's really bad. Oh my god, I was gonna rate that way higher. Like, doesn't it not even look like food? Like, I would be like, oh, this is like a dog treat. I don't know. Is it better than the SpongeBob pop? Like, I would probably rather eat the lemon part of SpongeBob and just ignore the gumballs than eat the Spider-Man pop. F in the chat. F in the chat for, for Spider-Man. The two Italian ices. We're gonna rate them separately. I did not get every Italian ice flavor. Just a heads up. I only got the two that I saw first. Cherry is one of the most prominent. I got cherry and I got mango, right? Luigi's Italian ice is like, I, I would eat that at my own house. I wouldn't even eat it. I don't know if I would order it necessarily at an ice cream truck, but if I was feeling it, I would, and I know that it would be good. I might put, I might put the cherry one S. Yeah, S. What are we rating the mango Italian ice? Not a fan. I don't like man- Okay, that's my problem here. I don't like mango. I, I'd probably throw it like B tier. In all honesty, I know a lot of people are going to say S. Yeah, a lot of people are saying mango is a great fruit. Mango's S. Uh, flavored mango things are great. And I, I, I see a lot of hype with that because I know a lot of mango flavored things are coming out. But I'm probably going to put a B for the sole reason that I'm just myself not really a fan of mango. The little snow cone Kona ice. I think, I don't, I don't want to piss y'all off, but buying a snow cone at an ice cream truck is probably the dumbest fucking thing you could probably do. I would say that's about where I would put it. I would say a snow cone's kind of middle of the road right? It's not good. I'm not going to order it, but it's not bad. The Push Pop ice cream. Now, this isn't any specific ice cream itself. There are a lot of different brands of Push Pop ice creams and different flavors. I couldn't find any of these. I was actually looking, but it's basically just the ice cream that comes packaged like that. You pull off the top and you just push it as you eat it. Uh, usually, it's some sort of fruit flavor. It's not generally chocolate or vanilla. It's usually like something like orange. I'm probably going to throw that beat. Even with the fudge. I know I ran it and raved about that in the beginning. I might drop them down. I might drop fudge. 
Should I drop drop? Should drumsticks BC chat? All right, Choco Taco. Yes. Rip in the chat. The Choco Taco got discontinued. I wish I could have rated it. In my honest opinion, it is the go-to. The Oreo bar. The Oreo bar. Never had. Uh, actually, I might have had this in the past. Uh, it's made with Oreo cookie pieces. Uh, Oreo has their hand in everything ever. It's too sweet. I like when you it's like finely ground cookie that they threw in this and it's something I've noticed with their regular ice cream as well as their cereal you it, it, and, and let me know if this is facts or not you taste the sugar grains like when I chew Oreo cookie ice cream I'm like I feel like I'm genuinely chugging like like you just gave me sugar cubes and I'm like chewing them in between my teeth and I don't like that I don't I know and I know a lot of people are saying s I know this is probably the worst one that I'm gonna fucking rate now but it's s or it's not s it's fucking it, it's fucking c also I forgot to rate this one the fucking chocolate banana. Chat, where are we throwing the fucking chocolate banana? All right, my chat voted C tier for the banana covered in chocolate. Shitter. Let's get this fucking out of the way. The ice cream sandwich. The fucking staple of our lives. I'm not saying that in a fucking good way. The goddamn ice cream sandwich. It's so bad. Dude, this is the one that I'm gonna fucking... This is what I'm gonna get a lot of flack for. Okay? I don't fucking care. And I know it's probably the biggest L take that I've had. I don't care. It's F. It's literally, it's bottom of F. I would rather eat those shitter ass off-brand Dippin' Dot Mini Melt motherfuckers. Oh my god, dude. It's just like another fucking L one. Maybe it, may, it might be good. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna have bias. The strawberry shortcake, okay? They sell these at school too. Or they used to sell these at school. They sold these at my school. I know they sold these at my school. They would sometimes give them out for free. These shitter asses. Literally. Free. A lot of people are going to say they're they're fire. Some people are going to say they're so bad. I don't know. We're going to test it. I haven't had one of these probably since I was like eight. Again, looks fake. It, lo it doesn't look... It looks like Play-Doh. It's definitely better. It's definitely better than the other one. It's definitely better than, than this one. The, the fucking fudge one. I'm thinking middle of the road C around the Oreo bar. Is that fair? Is that a fair placement, chat? Because it, like it's it's better than the cookies and cream bar. I'm eating I'm eating the strawberry shortcake one before I'm eating the cookies and cream one. I'm probably gonna eat it as much as I would the Oreo bar. So I think it's in between. A different, not the chip witch. We already rated the chip witch. This is the Toll House cookie chocolate chip um ice cream. It's basically just comparing the quality of ingredients. They're almost all the same. Dude, I feel like I gotta spit this out. Like, I'm not because it's bad, because I'm eating too much sugar. Because I'll keep eating that. That one's good. See, here's the issue. I don't want to have two cookie sandwiches in, the, in S tier. Do we have to derank the chip witch? Because this is S. Do I keep the chip witch up there, though? It's a worse one. Like, if, if, if you just handed me these two, I'm probably going to choose the, the Toll House one. Being real, I'm probably going to throw that there. The Chip Witch Cookies and Cream. Oh, shit. I thought that... Okay. Well, this one's probably going to get a pretty low ranking from me. I was saying, let's see. Uh, assuming that this was just like a chocolate cookie. Uh, but it's Cookies and Cream. The cookie is like a rock. Do you see that? It's like a fu- It's literally like a rock. It works. And let me tell you why it works. I normally don't like cookies and cream, but I'm already eating a cookie. And so the hardness of the cookie already makes me okay with the hardness of the ice cream. I don't- How much sugar are you eating? Probably like 300 grams. I'm fucking zooming right now. Is that fair? Is that fair, chat? I would say- I would say it, it's worse- It's- uh, See, I don't want to keep comparing the S tiers, but it, it's- it, It's worthy of S. This is probably going to have some some fucking debate in my chat. Where are you guys rating the M&M? The M&M sandwich. Another staple. Arguably, people have had this probably more than the actual chip witch itself. I've had more of these than chip witches. The M&Ms. The M&M sandwich. It is basically just the sugar cookie version with M&Ms on the inside of a ice cream sandwich. They're good. But now that I'm, like, eating all of these in comparison to one another, it doesn't stand out at all. It might be a B tier, though. Somebody just said that. I think that's true. The sugar cookie isn't that good, and there's only seven M&Ms on the entire fucking sandwich. It's it's worse than the creamsicle. About the fucking Magnum. The Magnum double caramel. I don't even know if they fucking serve these at ice cream trucks. You guys, you guys fucking wanted me to rate this so bad. You guys were making sure I had this. I've never had a Magnum. The whole inside is lined with caramel. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm now- I'm now getting it. I've never had one. That was the first time I had it. I can't keep eating it because I already have fucking so many ice creams. That's good. That's S. That's S. That has to be S. Oh my god. It's like a little too sweet, but like you can eat it. I think it's only a little too sweet because I've eaten so many ice creams. See you guys on Wednesday. Have, hope you had fun watching the stream. Uh, we're going to rate it in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.